welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sai, again. Today, I'm with Rachel, my best friend again. <laughs> so today, we're gonna cook Thai food. Um, we shared the recipe. Last time, she teaching me how to make cookie, and this yep. time, I will teaching her how to cook Thai food. We have um, tong kha gai or chicken coconut soup. Yeah. Yeah. So you wanna tell the ingredient to them what we have? For sure. Okay. First, uh, we have chicken thighs. Um, shallots, uh, lemongrass, galangal, mushrooms, um, limes, cilantro or coriander, yeah. uh, green onion, tomato, Thai chili, and keeper lime leaves. Yeah. For the flavors, we got um, tamarind and just regular salt and fish sauce and coconut milk. Yeah, good. And then we got um, water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so um, in my recipe. Um, uh, some people will have, uh, most of people will have this herb, boil them like this, but in my recipe we will blend or we will use the, what you call that one? Mortar and pestle. Yeah, we will smash them up real nice, but because we don't have, so we're gonna use the blender. So first thing first, we're gonna blend this. So why do you blend it or use? Uh, be um, because we like the thick uh, soup, so when we blend it, it's a bit better. Because okay. when you don't blend it, we got like the big chunk in it. Okay. But in my one, we blend it. And, um, awesome. So um, we need to blend this, and then we have this um, coconut milk with okay. water. So in Thailand, we have we call hua kati and hang kati. Hua kati is the thickness, like where you get it from the like um, coconut milk, okay. like yeah. a pure hundred percent. Okay. But if you don't hang kati, it's like um, you make like one, what you call um like one cup, one cup of uh, coconut milk, and then three cup of water. Okay, so something three like to that. one ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. okay, so we're gonna blend this one. With the herb that already been um, blending out, we are gonna boil the water with the coconut, and then coconut. And I put it on the stove. So while we wait until the coconut water is boiled, we will add the tamarind right away in the water. Okay. So with the coconut and everything, you add the tamarind. Yeah, tamarind. Don't need, don't need to add much because we're gonna add the lime at the end. Okay. So like a tablespoon. Yeah. And we add a little bit of salt because coconut already has salt in it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So just a little. Yeah. Just a little. We can add it later if we want. Like that. Right now, the coconut is start to um, bubble bubbles a little okay. bit. So we add the herb. In. Okay. Stir it, and can you hand me the chicken, please? Yeah. We have the bone and everything in there. To use all parts of the chicken. Yeah, all part of the chicken. So this is um, the key. Do not put the lid on and don't stir it after you put the meat. Okay. So it's not gonna taste like, oh, what you call like sting of the, the chicken taste out. Okay. Like the smell of the chicken is not gonna come out. Okay. So as soon as you put the chicken, don't do anything on it. Just just let it sit, let like it cook sit. like for 10 minutes. I just um, show Rachel how to have her snack. You like sour? I love sour. Oh yeah. This is like Thai style eating. <laughs> <laughs> so put the salt on your palm. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. And dip, dip, dip. Well, like a candy. Oh my god. So good. Let me try them. Mmm. It's like um, like you know the sour gummies mm -hmm. with the sugar. Mm -hmm. and that's what it tastes like. Mmm. So good. And then you're gonna go to the toilet after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just take a photo. Get a photo of rice. Did I turn the rice cooker off or something? Um, yeah, I think you just hit it with your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned it over my butt. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good already. So even though I want to touch it and stir it, don't yeah, touch it. Yeah, don't touch it. <laughs> all, all you can do is like scape, like if you see the oil. Okay. All you can do is just scape the oil, but right now don't do it. Okay. We use the wrong Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. And um, add this one on. Okay. What you call this one? Uh, the kefir lime leaves. Yeah. 
How do you say in Thai? Bai Maku. Bai Maku. Bai Maku. Bai Maku. Yeah. Because we know we haven't put anything in it other than um, salt, so let's okay. try. Need more salt. Yeah, more salt. It just like doesn't taste like anything <laughs> at all. Need more salt. We're gonna add the sauce at the end. So okay. Careful. And when would you add MSG normally? Normally, we would add the MSG like. Um, we recommend to um, seasoning your favorite after you like finish everything, right okay. before you turn everything off. So okay. that's when you're gonna seasoning everything. Okay. Because you're gonna balance like keep all the flavor together. Yeah. Yeah. So, but some people they also do it right away when the water is boiled. Okay. After they put the chicken, they they were seasoning right away. Okay. Yeah. So just personal preference. Yeah. Personal. What is it called here? Personal preference. <laughs> personal preference. Preference. Personal preference. Preference. <laughs> then we will add the um, tomatoes. Okay. For the sweet and the sour a little bit. Hungry. Yeah. And the chili and the chili, but we don't smash it because none of us are eating spicy. Okay. Yeah. So just the coloring. I miss my sweetness. We will add the coconut sugar normally. Okay. Yeah, for for this. Wait, did you do it at this point? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will add the coconut sugar in there. Okay. But uh, since all of us are on diet, we cut sugar, we cut MSG. In Thailand, we have two different. Um, uh, MSG, this one called Lodi, this one is um, pork favorite seasoning powder, and this one is MSG that um, most of Thai people are using in their kitchen on their dish. They will make balance um, all the taste. Okay. Like, will taste like so good. Even though you're a bad cook, just have this too, and everything will <laughs> be, <laughs> everything will be tasting amazing. Okay. This is okay, part. Google. Stop. <laughs> Alright, so, um, now this we're gonna add out cilantro, yeah, cilantro. and the green onion. And then we will add one cup of our coconut water. So now we put the heat on low heat, okay, and then we add the fish sauce. About two tablespoons. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a little bit. Just, just a little, a little bit. bit. Yes, again. Yeah. Keep tasting. Yeah. This is the recipe. This <laughs> is the recipe. Your taste buds. This is the recipe. <laughs> tasting like until half of the soup is gone. In Thai people have like the best palate. What is the best palate? Like, um, taste? Yeah, knowing sour, sweet, yeah. salty. Because like I told you in Canada, it's just one cup, half yeah, a cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's like, you know, you need, I think, I don't know, because Thai people, like when it comes to tasting food, it's very different straight from different house. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some people like to eat like very spicy, and then when you give them the recipe, it's like she's not good cook because <laughs> because somehow eat different. Okay. So that's why we always I measure on everything. Yeah. I try to steal my my auntie. She's the best cooking. Okay. I try to steal her recipe, and she always like ah oh, I measure. I I measure everything. I can still cannot cook as good as her. Really? Yeah. It's wow. like same recipe, same ingredient, suck. My one, <laughs> my aunt here is like so good, and she put a lot of MSG, like three tablespoons of it. Yeah, MSG. Really? Yeah, that's wow. why she's good cook, maybe. <laughs> I need to start doing that with Canadian recipes, just like add some MSG. MSG. Yeah. yeah, add some MSG. Oh my god, everyone will be like, oh, it tastes so good. It's so good. <laughs> Where did you get this recipe? It's like, oh, just born with a. Just born with, yeah, Thai recipe.
So, um, all right, so we just finished cooking the um, coconut soup, would you call? You want to give it a taste? Yes, definitely. Oh my goodness, good? Wow, <laughs> like the smell and the taste is, oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go put the table up and we see how our friends think about this dish. Yeah, yeah. Wow. okay. That's incredible. Yeah. Okay. What are we gonna try? The test test, of course, this one. Ah, the soup? This one, yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to try the soup too. Okay, yeah. pass. Pass? From scale 1 to 10. Uh, 10. <laughs> How come you never made this before? <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, now everybody make a test. Can try it? Okay, cool. Try it. Awesome. So what do you call this dish? Um, Pom Kha Gai. It's like coconut chicken soup. Okay. Yeah, Pom Kha Gai is in the meantime. It tastes like the soup. <laughs> <laughs> really? <right? laughs> oh, it's very good. It's very good? Yeah, the mushrooms are very good. And this one is healthy. Imagine if I put MSG in it. No MSG. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is awesome. This is okay. Seriously, this is delicious. <laughs> wow. I don't Pom think it needs MSG. Oh. Yes. Sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. See you next time. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>